Hello everyone, welcome to my channel that is Pharmacology with Dr. Janvi. Today we are going to learn a topic of experimental pharmacology that is effect of various drugs on blood pressure and heart rate using computer aided learning. According to competency based medical education that is CBME, this topic is covered under experimental pharmacology, competency number pH 4.2 and the competency is demonstrate the effect of drugs on blood pressure using computer aided learning so let's start i have xfarm software and you can see i have already opened the experiment on the screen in the middle there is a window and that is for recording blood pressure and heart rate in a graphical manner there are two scales, one at right hand side is for measurement of mean blood pressure in millimeter of mercury and one at left hand side is for measurement of heart rate in beats per minute. There is a list of drug in a drop down menu. Uh, you can select any of the drug and click on inject and there will be a response in a graphical manner. There is one more option that is inject saline. When I click on inject saline, you can see uh, the black line is suggesting mean blood pressure and red line is suggesting heart rate. When I inject saline, there will be no change in the blood pressure and heart rate. So I can record the normal blood pressure and heart rate of this animal. Now we will start with our drugs. First we will go to sympathetic agent. Our first sympathetic agent is epinephrine or adrenaline. I will select epinephrine from this drop down menu. Uh, look at this. The software is providing us dose to be injected as well as recommended dose and dose range. But I can edit the dose according to my requirement. See I can add it over here. Now I will click on inject the drug and look at the response initially the blood pressure is increased which is followed by a fall and then normal if you look at the heart rate the heart rate is decreased that is bradycardia this is called a biphasic response of adrenaline on blood pressure if we look at the receptor level initially when we inject the drug the level of adrenaline in the plasma is high at this time the receptor sensitive are alpha 1 and beta 1 stimulation of alpha 1 receptor which are located on peripheral blood vessels will result into vasoconstriction and there will be increased peripheral vascular resistance stimulation of beta 1 receptor which are located on the heart will result into positive inotropy positive chronotropy and positive traumatropic effect that means increase in the force of contraction increase in the heart rate and increase in the conduction velocity respectively if you look at the cardiac output due to alpha 1 and beta 1 action the cardiac output is also increased and there will be rise in the systolic blood pressure due to both of this receptor action. When the plasma level of adrenaline declines, the receptor predominates at low level of adrenaline is beta 2. Stimulation of beta 2 receptor which are located on skeletal muscle blood vessels will result into dilatation of these vessels and there will be fall in the diastolic blood pressure. So increase in the systolic blood pressure because of alpha 1 and beta 1 and decrease in the diastolic blood pressure due to beta 2 action. If you look at the mean blood pressure, the mean blood pressure is increased in response to adrenaline. Now due to beta 1 stimulation, there will be tachycardia, there will be increase in the heart rate. This tachycardia is followed by a reflex bradycardia. So in our response we have bradycardia now we will see norepinephrine or noradrenaline which is also catecholamine select the drug from this menu inject the drug and look the response uh, blood pressure is increased but heart rate is decreased in response to norepinephrine or noradrenaline now 
norepinephrine is having affinity for alpha 1 beta 1 and alpha 2 receptor no action on beta 2 receptor so stimulation of alpha 1 will result into peripheral vasoconstriction and increase peripheral vascular resistance stimulation of beta 1 will result into positive inotropy positive chronotropy positive dromotropy means increase force of contraction increase heart rate and increase conduction velocity so due to alpha 1 and beta 1 action there will be rise in the blood pressure in response to noradrenaline if you look at the cardiac output the cardiac output mostly remains unchanged due to beta 1 action there will be tachycardia in response to norepinephrine but here there is bradycardia and that is because of reflex bradycardia now we will see isoprenaline select the drug and inject isoprenaline gives us a fall in the blood pressure and the heart rate is increased in response to isoprenaline isoprenaline is selective beta receptor agonistic agent stimulation of beta 1 receptor located on the heart will result into positive inotropy positive chronotropy and positive traumotropy means increase force of contraction increase heart rate and increase in the conduction velocity this will lead to increase in the cardiac output as well as increased in the systolic blood pressure but at the same time beta 2 receptor is also stimulated which are located on skeletal muscle blood vessels and dilatation of these vessels due to beta 2 action will result into fall in the diastolic blood pressure even though beta 1 receptor stimulate the heart the mean arterial and diastolic pressure is greatly reduced and that is because of the dilatation of skeletal muscle blood vessels by beta 2 receptor action so in response to isoprenaline the mean blood pressure is reduced and heart rate is increased because of beta 1 receptor stimulation next sympathetic agent is ephedrine select the drug and inject and look at the response ephedrine increases the heart rate as well as blood pressure ephedrine is a mixed acting sympathomimetic agent it is having action on both alpha and beta receptor which is direct action and its indirect action is by increased release of norepinephrine from sympathetic nerve endings rise in the blood pressure is because of stimulation of alpha 1 and beta 1 receptors and increase in the heart rate is due to stimulation of beta 1 receptors now we will see sympatholytic agent first sympatholytic agent is phentolamine which is non selective alpha receptor blocking agent select and inject the drug phentolamine decreases the blood pressure and increases the heart rate phentolamine is non selective alpha receptor blocking agent by blocking the alpha 1 receptor there will be fall in the blood pressure and due to blockage of alpha 2 receptor there will be increase in the heart rate alpha 2 receptors are located presynaptically and they are acting as a break they are inhibiting the release of norepinephrine from nerve endings so blocking this alpha 2 receptor will result into release of norepinephrine in the synaptic cleft and there will be increased in the heart rate in response to norepinephrine release next sympatholytic agent is propranolol which is non-selective beta receptor blocking agent select and inject the drug propranolol decreases the heart rate as well as decreases the blood pressure 
Propranolol is non-selective beta blocker. Due to beta 1 blockade, there will be decrease in the heart rate, decrease in the force of contraction and decrease in the conduction velocity. Beta 1 receptor is also responsible for activation of RAS that is renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Activation of this RAS will result into increase in the blood pressure. So if the beta 1 receptor are blocked there will be no activation of RAS and there will be no increase in the blood pressure in response to RAS and the ultimate effect of propranolol is decrease in the blood pressure. Now we will see parasympathetic or cholinergic drug. First is acetylcholine but before injecting the drug I would like to clear the screen as there are too many responses. Now select acetylcholine and inject the drug. Acetylcholine causes fall in the blood pressure and it also reduces the heart rate. Acetylcholine is acting on M2 and M3 receptor. M2 receptor which are located on the heart. Stimulation of this M2 will result into decrease in the heart rate and decrease in the force of contraction. Stimulation of M3 receptor which are located on the blood vessel will result into decrease in the blood pressure. Now we will see parasympatholytic or anticholinergic drug that is atropine. Select and inject. Atropine causes no change in the blood pressure but heart rate is increased. Atropine which is anti-muscarinic agent will block the muscarinic receptor by blocking the presynaptic M1 receptor on SN node will result into bradycardia and later on M2 blockade on SN node by atropine will lead to tachycardia. Now we will see histamine. Histamine is an autocoid which is synthesized from amino acid histidine. Select and inject the drug. Histamine causes fall in the blood pressure and increase in the heart rate. If we look at the receptor level, histamine is acting on H1 and H2 receptor which are located on the blood vessels which is responsible for fall in the blood pressure. H2 receptor which are located on the heart which are stimulated and result into increase in the heart rate so that there, there will be tachycardia in response to histamine. Now we will see antihistaminic agent. First will be mepiramine which is H1 blocking agent. Select and inject. There will be no change in the blood pressure and heart rate in response to mepiramine. Next antihistaminic agent is cimetidine which is H2 blocker. Again select and inject. No change in the blood pressure and heart rate. So, this two antihistaminic agent are not giving us any response on heart rate and blood pressure. So, to summarize, we have seen uh, this list of drugs. First, sympathetic agent that is adrenaline, noradrenaline, isoprenaline and ephedrine. Sympatholytic agent like phantolamine and propranolol. Parasympathetic agent like acetylcholine parasympatholytic agent like atropine, histamine, antihistaminic agent like mepiramine and cimetidine. If you like my video please subscribe my channel and like this video as well as share. Thank you.